Hello, in this video I will show you how to create a procedural wall inside Fix Houdini. It's going to be a very simple wall and it's going to be made out of wall segments and little towers for corners. And our task will be to copy the wall segments along the curve. And as a result we will be able to create a wall based on any curve that we want. So that is going to be editable, for example if I want to move some points on the curve I can and wall will automatically adjust. Or I can draw any, uh, not any different curve and it will follow it as well. No problem. So here I'm adjusting the points. And it's going to work. Hopefully. Yes, it does. As you can see, it's pretty cool. So let's go through the setup that I have. To understand what's going on. Well, uh, I begin with the point, uh, with the curve. Like this. And what I want is to copy and paste a little tower, a little wall segment that looks like this, and a little tower that looks like this. Just uh, doing a copy node on the curve is not really going to work by default, because uh, the normals for every point are not set up properly. For example, if I will turn off this node, as you can see, all of the wall segments will point in the same direction. We need the wall segments to point uh, correctly so if the wall is pointing to the right, they need to point to the right. If it points to the top, it needs to point to the top. So our first task will be to create normals. And we will do this with a very simple trick. Let's turn on, turn on normals. So what you do... Well, first of all, I'm going to resample the curve. And that will allow us to set the segment length that will be uh, matching with the width, width of the wall segment so that every 0.25 units we would be creating a wall segment otherwise uh, it they would be too sparse for example if I turn this off or change the length of resampling as you can see uh, that would be the kind of problem we would face if we would just draw the curve manually so we set uh, the length of resampling to a certain amount that matches the, uh, the width of the wall segment and it will copy them properly. Okay, so now the normal trick. Our goal is to point all of the normals along the curve. That way everything else will take care of itself automatically. To do that, we create a sort node and offset points by one. So you change point sort to shift and set offset to one. And then you create a point old node and then set normals to look as such. Tx minus Tx2 ty minus ty2 and tz minus tz2. What does this do? Well, if you look at the curve itself and look at the point numbers, if you disable uh, the sort, as you can see, they are shifted by one. So for example, this is 69 and this is 70. And if you will shift them, this will be 71, this will be 70. So all uh, points are shifted uh, ahead by one. So imagine like a snake crawling along this curve and it's scrolling a little, uh, one little step forward. So all points are shifted forward a little bit. And the point node, what it does is it tells uh, to every point, to every point on the curve to create a normal that points to the point that's next to it. So for example, if a point used to be here and sort moved it over here, one step ahead, then the, po uh, the point sort will tell it to, okay, this point, you should create a normal that points towards this, uh, this one. And this point will point towards this one, etc. And that will create normals. As you can see, it's, it's difficult to see because uh, they match with the curve. But this blue uh, little line of a normal, it points along the curve now. And that takes care of the proper rotation of each object. Basically, that would be enough to just copy wall segments along the curve. But what we also want to do is to create little towers at the corners of the curve. To do that, we can use a facet node with remove online points to leave to delete all of the points that we have resampled and put in the middle of the segments and that will leave us with only the corner points of the curve these are the points where we want to copy our little towers and here we will do that so i will have a copy to points node just like we have copied wall segments over here with just simple copy to points here copy to points will copy the towers like so but uh, the remaining problem is that if you copy towers and you copy wall segments wall segments will also be copied to these corner points 
over here. So if I show you this node, by default, uh, the segment will be copied to every point. So to, do, uh, to avoid that, we want to delete uh, the points that are on the corners, the points where we copy the towers. It's going to be very simple. So we again have our corner points. We are going to copy box to each of them so that the box contains uh, this point. And then we will create a group. This node will create a group of points uh, based on, you turn this, uh, you enable this, and it's going to create group based on bounding objects. And the bounding object will, will come from here, and the bounding object will be these little boxes. So every point that contains, uh, that's contained inside of this box, any of these boxes, will be put in this group. <clears throat> and then we will simply use a delete node to delete every point in this group. That way we still have all the points on our segments, for the wall segments, but the points on the corners will be deleted. Now we can plug this into copy to points. And we have uh, wall segments on each of the segments except for the corners. And then finally we take this and we take the towers and we are going to merge them. One second, let me check something. Yes. Okay, so we will merge them into one geometry. And uh, for some reason it messed up normals for the copied geometry. Uh, I'm not sure why, I'm sure there is a smarter way to solve this problem, but I'm just going to use face it to re uh, recover the normals, to recalculate rec the normals automatically for me. So there you go. This is our wall. Once again, to take you through the whole setup, create a curve over here. Uh, edit and transform will just make it a little bit larger or allow me to edit the points uh, as I want. Then I'm going to resample to make it much, to make the distance between each of the points on the curve match the uh, width of the wall segment. Then I'm going to use this little sort and point trick to create normals to copy things onto. Uh, at this point, there are a few things that I need to do. First of all, this part of the network creates and copies towers. This part of the network, this one and this one, creates uh, groups for corner points and deletes corner points, leaving only the remaining ones. And this part of the network copies the wall segments onto everything. And finally, we merge it all together. Very simple setup, not too fancy. I'm sure there are smarter ways to do this, or maybe not, who knows. But it works pretty great, and I'm very happy with the result. And now I can draw any curve, and it will automatically create walls for me, which is pretty great. And of course, you can replace the geometry of a wall and of a tower with literally anything that you want. Or if you want to add some variety or gates or whatever, you can use copy stacking, which you should probably learn in a different tutorial, to copy different kinds of segments onto each point, and it's still going to look great, it's still going to copy everything correctly. So there you go, I hope this tutorial was useful to you, and I'll see you in my future videos.